today we're gonna go ahead and remove my current uh, lighting setup. So this is the typical relay setup that you see when you receive a light bar. Um, basically it's gonna be much more compact. All these relays are gonna be fitted on one circuit board and it'll fit right in the space without this chunky um, wiring setup that I have. This actually fits multiple vehicles. Well, it's universal in its name, so it'll fit multiple vehicles. And I'm gonna use the bracket that it comes with to mount it somewhere in this area. All right, so this is the wiring harness that came with my actual mirror pod lights. Um, these pod lights have a main light and they have a back light and they need two separate relays. And they also share one ground and then each of these is a positive. So what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and cut these wires that go straight to the pod lights. Cut both of those or cut all three of those and essentially we're gonna crimp a ring terminal on here to be grounded to the frame and then both of these are positives one is for the main light and the other is for the back light so we're gonna go ahead and use a butt connector or a quick uh, disconnect connector to wire it to the red wire that comes from the main wiring harness of the G1 so we went ahead and, and took the positive wire coming from my mirror pod lights ran them into the positive for the actual harness. We took the, the negative and we actually um, uh, crimped on ring terminals and grounded them to the frame. And with that, the circuit's complete. You see they turn on. I can go ahead and press and hold and switch to strobe mode. And I can turn them off. We went ahead and cut the existing wiring that I had in there. And to make it easy to fish the new harness through the firewall, I, uh, I actually duct taped the new harness to the end of the old harness and pulled everything through. Um, that made it a lot easier to fish the cable through and uh, it didn't snag on anything. We brought it through the firewall above the, the gas pedal and, and I ran it across to the passenger side and up the A pillar. From there I ran it above the headliner and to the sunglass holder area. I replaced the, the 100 amp fuse that it came with with a 100 amp breaker that I actually had previously in here. It does the same purpose with the advantage of the breaker being you can um, quickly disconnect the power, the positive power with the press of the button. Um, I just had to keep that in there. We're running the power to this harness panel right here. This is the main power for all the lights. From here all the positive leads go to each light and then the light's negative leads get grounded to the frame and I've, I've grounded it with the two um, bolts that I have going into the fender here that were previous, previously here for my last uh, relay setup that I had. 